Okay, hi guys. Today I wanted to give you an update on the installation of the Simpure water filter, reverse osmosis water filter. Yeah, unfortunately it took very long time to finish the kitchen, but now we have it and we are super, super happy now with the reverse osmosis. And so I've turned around the camera so you can see that better. And so this is how it works. It's super easy to be used. We can just turn it on like that and it starts immediately flowing. This is absolutely awesome. So we can take this water here, fill this up, watch how fast this is filling up. Definitely doesn't take a lot of time. So we can stop this here and you can hear that it keeps working for a little bit. It's back washing, but it doesn't take a long time and is also very quiet, definitely not loud. You can also use that in the middle of the night. You don't have to be worried that you are waking up the whole family or so. And the water is absolutely fantastic. I can tell you super, super low PPM. I'm filling up here also a glass of water from the normal tap. So I put this on the left side here. And I'm filling also a glass of water from this absolutely brand new LG fridge with brand new filter. Okay, I would say I changed that for a little bit. So we have the original water from the tap on the left side, then we have the LG filtered water, and then we have the same pure reverse osmosis water. And so let's test first the original water. I hope you can see that now shows 250 ppm, which is pretty high. I've seen that already higher, sometimes up to 280 ppm. Definitely not a good thing, but of course, depends on what's in there, but I can definitely smell there's no good stuff inside. There's a lot of chlorine. And then we have the filtered water from the LG water filter. You can see it's a little bit lower, but still 215 ppm. Yeah, it didn't filter out a lot. I mean, it filters out somehow the chlorine taste, but not much more. Definitely not dissolved chemicals. And now let's do the Simpure reverse osmosis. And you can see we are down at only 8 ppm. 8 ppm. That's an absolutely awesome result. You can Google for that. Reverse osmosis filtration systems which deliver such low results are considered absolutely awesome. And also something which I really like is that the pH number is not too low. You can see solid 6.8. Eight. I've measured a couple of times, shows every time same number, which is just slightly below neutral. And I've measured this with a brand new, freshly calibrated pH meter. Of course, if you like the pH higher, like alkaline water, you can use alkaline drops, something like that. And this can easily increase it to pH 9 or so with one or two drops. You can see it stays steady at 6.7, 6.8 around that, no matter how long I wait. And so of course the question is then how can we do that? So that's the thing, that's the installation. I guess that's also what you wanted to see. Down here we have it, you can see everything shows normal operation. If any of the filters need a replacement, then you would see a flashing light here. But let's also have a look at the pipes. And the first thing here is you can see that here in the back the white pipe that's the fresh water. I hope you can see that here is going along here and then going into the system and then is filtered. I can open that again very quickly as you can see the filters which are here inside the reverse osmosis and the second filter very easy to access here when we have it on this side. And then after the filtration we have the blue pipe which is pumping the filtered water you can see also in a cycle and then pumping this up here. I hope you can see that goes up and then up here we have of course the faucet here. By, by the way regarding the installation it's installed in a normal standard opening. We tested that with the kitchen installer 
It's a little bit large, but you can see it still covers everything. So it sits nicely here on top, not moving. And it's exactly using the same hole as this one here and also as the air switch here for the in sync -rators. So you don't have to drill another size hole, just normal standard hole. And here you can just activate that. You can see how easy this works. I love this awesome, beautiful, steady flow. And after that, we can just stop it, reduce it, and it keeps backwashing. And that's the red pipe here, which is pumping then the backwash water through the pipe and then after that it goes here so you can see it's after the garbage disposal but of course before we have this u-bending and it's higher than the final drainage here so it will never be affected by standing water or so what's the good thing here we have all these horseshoe clamps which are securing the pipe here inside. So whenever you have to do something, you need to pull out this horseshoe and then you push this white safety ring here inside and only then you can pull out one of these pipes here. So they are really nicely secured. And so we have this installation since now two weeks and we never had any problems with leaking or so everything has been working absolutely perfect. And regarding the power, we are using the power here in the back. And I think the power is combined with the dishwasher because it's using only very low power, it's no problem. So the electrician didn't have to pull a separate line here. That's also very, very important. That saved us a lot of work. And then we have the transformer mounted up there and the cable goes then into the back and powering the whole system. What surprised me here is that it didn't take up more space. You can see we still have a lot of extra space for some other stuff here. And it's looking really good, I would say. Fits perfectly to the stainless steel of the sink. So overall, I would say that's a huge success, huge improvement regarding water quality. Finally, we have super clean water here directly from the tap and the whole thing can be easily rotated to the side. So we can, for example, put a glass like here and then turn it on. Just leave it here. So you don't have to do anything. By the way, we don't have to use the full power of the water. We can also reduce it. Of course, I have to push this here a little bit. You can see we can have it running much slower if you like. Turn it off easily, put the thing back. Yeah, really, really nice. So it's definitely a huge improvement for us now to have this fresh filtered water here so we don't have to transport so much bottled water anymore. I think it's also very beneficial to the environment and it's much more convenient to have the fresh water directly here so we don't have to go to the fridge and I mean it's also not the same thing. This is much more purified and what's also important to know that it has much less calcium so also all the machines like coffee makers will last much longer. Yeah an absolute Great thing, was definitely worth it. Huge success, huge improvement, so much more convenient and uh, huge health plus. So full recommendation from my side. And so if you're interested, I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order one for you if you like it. And I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below. And I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a Thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, thanks for watching, see you next time.